Hi, everybody, and welcome to another tutorial with Mr. Petromo. Today, we're going to look at um, learning how to set up and use um, Relay with your Google Classroom. So the first thing you're going to do is get to classroom.relay.school. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit on my screen. Um, and this is the page that I recommend bookmarking, classroom.relay.school, right up here. <clears throat> Once you get there, you can go ahead and click that sign in with Google button. And it will prompt you to log in with your school Google account. There. Now, once you connect to your Google Classroom, you are going to see a list of kids, but everything will be grayed out. Now, I have my list of kids blurred out for privacy reasons, of course, but they their names will be grayed out and you won't be able to access them. The first thing you're going to have to do is to um, go into your classroom settings, and that's under more options right here, more options. Go to Click that kebab and go to the classroom settings. So from here, you need to set your schedule before you'll be able to see any kids in um, Relay. Now, there's two different schedules that you can set. Ad hoc is the first one, and that is an instant session, and you can set it for 30 minutes, 15 minutes, 45, an hour, um, two hours, however long you want. And at the end of that duration, your, your settings will vanish. So that's ad hoc. If you want it to be every day, you're going to want to go into the custom classroom setting. And this is where you can pick the days of the week that um, your class meets. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then you'll want to pick the time. Now, for my intents and purposes, I'm going to start at 8 a.m. A.m. And I am going to go to the end of my day so that I can see them all day long. You will probably want to do just your custom hour or if you have a two hour block or however long you'll want to make that um, perfect for your class and your schedule so once you have the start and the start and the end time set and your days of the week you're going to go ahead and click the save button and this is going to put your schedule into relay and this will then populate all the kids who are online during your time schedule now, if you set from 9 to 10 o'clock and it's 1130, this list is going to be grayed out again and you won't be able to see any kids. So just keep that in mind as you make your custom schedule. So for me, I'm going to have them all day because my kids come back for extra specials and I have them in weird, uh, weird times through the week. So it's just it's easier for me to do them all day. And kids come to me all the time asking for help throughout the day. So it's just easier for me to have them on and I can look them up. Now, um, you can also, through that same settings, class settings, you can invite students. If you have a student who's not in your Google Classroom, but you want them in this group, you can enter their email address right here and invite them, add them right into this class. You can also use the invite code down here at the bottom. You can copy and paste this to Classroom, and you, can, you have a class code that you can give them as well or you have a clickable link down here that you can copy and paste and send out via email, Google Classroom, or however else um, you post things to students. So there's a few ways to get kids in there. Um, I prefer to make sure they're all in my Google Classroom first before I start and then populate the group. Now there is about a 24 hour um, period before students will actually populate in your list. So I'm gonna go back out to settings. If I brand new set this up, my kids may not populate into this list for another 24 hours. So keep that in mind as you set your class up. Um, and then next is just about monitoring your students. So the next video is going to go into uh, detail about how to monitor, but you can click open a student and you get a big window of their open tabs, their browsing history. You can see recordings, but those are manual. You have to tell it to record first and it'll record 10 minute clips. And then you can go back and watch those recordings for kids that you need to monitor closely. Or you have the message feature here that's really nice. You can, you can say need help or are you done? Or you can have a custom and say, please get to work and turn off YouTube or whatever else you need to say. All right, that's about it for getting started. We'll go into more detail on some of the other tools later. I thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.